year everybody it's 2019 like 2019 where did 2018 go where did 2017 go where did 2016 go oh my god okay yeah you know life is just getting so so fast time is going by so quickly but here we are thank god we are alive and i hope that everybody enjoyed um the holidays you know for some of us it's back to the grind already um but this is going to be my first video for 2019 I should have filmed it since last year but you know um things happen so i'm here to share with you um my sephora vip haul i have been using a lot of these items already so i'll just give you, you know, some quick thoughts as we go through and this is generally the stuff that i picked up during the the sale but it seems as though since november sephora has just been having sales like crazy they send in out codes um they had a 20 percent off during the end of the year as well another 20 percent off so i did pick up like one or two things i could probably share with that with you after um so in reality this is not everything but these were the things that i wanted to get during the sale um usually what i would do is i would keep adding things to my wish list and then I'd keep editing as I get closer and closer to the sale. Because of course, you know, money is a limited resource, right? So we need to prioritize the things that we want to buy. I'll just say that in this entire haul, absolutely nothing here was a need except one thing that I needed to repurchase. Everything was just wants, things that I've been looking at and been wanting. So let's get started. Oh, right. This first item is the Makeup Forever Professional pro bronze fusion it's a bronzer um arlene villarule like recommended it to me and she had to do my makeup she used it on me and it looks really really beautiful on the skin the packaging is absolutely gorgeous that's what it looks like on the outside and on the inside this is what it looks like beautiful pattern but the product itself is really really gorgeous i don't know if it makes sense like swatching it on my hand um because you may not see it so well it shows up beautifully on the skin i have a couple of photos with this up so um you could probably check my instagram you'd see it but yeah i picked up that because i really wanted it I, I i just found that it looked really beautiful okay this next item is by kevin aquan i took it out of the box it comes in this little velvet case and this tiny thing yeah tiny like that is the kevin aquan sculpting powder and this is the shade deep i have been wanting this for a very very long time because some of my um favorite youtubers or people that i really pay attention to have been talking about this it's not a new product at all but it's expensive this tiny little thing and when i say tiny you think the packaging tiny already and when you open it i mean it's like this right this little thing is 44 us dollars mm -hmm. but when i tell you this gives me the most perfect contour shade in terms of powders i i have quite a few contour um powders that i love and bronzers but this like i was waiting for this and it did not disappoint i have been loving this i will only use this really for special occasions um you know or things where i'm probably going to do a lot of photography and that kind of thing because this thing too expensive to be repurchasing and i have other things that you know work well but i really wanted this for a long time and i'm glad i got to pick it up just remember that everything that i tell you here in terms of some of the prices i would have paid um that price less 20 percent, and that's the reason why the things that i want from sephora i generally buy it during the sale okay so the next thing would have been in this box and i know a lot of you know these boxes um we love the Stila glitters that we put on our eyes because it's really easy to use and the Stila formula works really well. Um, you don't have to be an expert in applying glitter to use them. But they also came out with another formula, not just the, the glitter formula, but they have the shimmer and glow eyeshadows, liquid eyeshadows now. And I have just a few of the full size of the glitters. I usually pick up these little kits um, because it's not something that I use all the time. And I find in the little kits, you get a lot of product. So it, this will last me. And I find that these are economical. You get a couple shades um and then you get to try the formula if there's one that you love you can definitely pick up the full size so what was in this one was these three shades and it's kitten cloud and twig uh, these are the shimmer eyeshadows um let me see if i can just swatch them very very quickly for you and there you go so this one is kitten, the second one is cloud, and the third one is twig. I actually picked this up because I really wanted twig, that brown 
that chocolate brown color um, and what I love about these especially is that you can just do uh, two shadow look and when I say a two shadow look you just put any one of these over your entire lid and something in the crease and you are done it looks really really perfect and lovely um, they also made a great gift because I did gift a couple people this um, set um, and they were really really good I have been wearing them for quite a while like testing them out and I'm impressed with how they were um, so this formula is really nice if you like the glitter but you also want to try this other one I definitely recommend that you pick it up especially one of these kits so you can try it a couple um, shades okay, so the next item um, is the item that I told you was a need that I wanted to repurchase and that's the hourglass mineral veil primer now, a lot of people who haven't tried the hourglass mineral veil primer will wonder why is everybody who loves it raving about it and it's so expensive compared to other primers i started off with just getting sample packets and deluxe size um samples from sephora fell in love with it and then i took the plunge and i bought the mini size which is um i think a half ounce of the primer and that's around 19 us yeah some primers 19 us is the full you know the price of the full size um i think i'm wrong with the amount in that um then their full size or their regular full size which is one ounce is 54 us dollars and in the 2017 november sephora vib sale i picked that size up and then this year that's it's one of the things that i always pick up in the november sale because that 20 percent off really helps that price and this is my number one holy grail primer but this one is my go-to like if i need something that's bulletproof that's gonna work with any foundation so that's why i wanted to buy it so instead of getting the full size i got what they call their value size and their value size um is two ounces so that's twice the amount in their full their regular full size um, but not for twice the amount the, the, the price because the one ounce is 54 US the two ounce which is this is 75 US dollars yeah that's really expensive but this is going to last me like a long 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 time and if when you take off that 20% it helps um, this like I said, if you haven't tried the Hourglass Mineral Veil and you've tried so many primers, nothing's working for you, try this on almost any skin type, this works. But it really, it's excellent for my oily skin. Uh, my foundations last a long time. It smooths the skin. Um, it really just gives that blurring effect and your foundation will last fantastically. Ta-da! And your, my sister always tells me like, Sherry, you, why you don't get rid of the boxes? Why are you always keeping everything in boxes? Like, you know, when packaging is nice, I just like to keep it. But, you know, in cleaning up and trying to make things a little bit more compact, there are some boxes that I do get rid of. But this ain't going anywhere. You see this? This is a keepsake. I love, love, love this box. But even if I just love the box, the product inside needed to perform. And you all know how I feel about Anastasia um, eyeshadows. So at first, I was a little bit thrown by the what shade should i say this shade in this palette i love the color scheme of everything and i was like where did bloom you know come from all of a sudden um but i said you know what i loved everything else so i'm still going to get it and i'm so glad i did it just like soft glam this is another classy palette if you are a classy woman and you love those looks that it doesn't matter you know how your look comes out you could wear it with anything to any occasion um it's not going to be like you know extremely colorful or bold or anything like that but you're gonna look extremely put together like magazine finish this palette does that every single look that i've done with this palette i have loved um the colors may seem like oh it's so muted and that kind of thing but every single look comes out so so beautiful um some of the popular shades that I love inside here, Cyborg, Rose Quartz, let me do this one, Pearl, and the palette has a very cool tone um, look to it, but the, which is, you know, which is fine because I love cool tones, but a lot of people, they, they love the warm tones a lot more, but cool tones could look great on us warm skin girls you just need to know how to do it um take note though that this particular palette always the same size as all the other palettes like this this one was 45 dollars compared to 42 pat mcgrath i was gifted for my birthday last year um one of her larger palettes 
and I fell in love with that thing. It is so bomb, so beautiful. But those palettes are $125. Yeah, so you need to use it. You need to get it, sorry, during a sale. Um, now, Pat McGrath um, sometimes has sale on her site, um, but Sephora would have had it at 20% off. But interestingly, I didn't pick up any palettes, um, any of her eyeshadow palettes during the sale. There are a couple of other things I wanted to try. Um, and one is this, and I mean, she always wins with packaging. This here is a lip liner in all that packaging. And um, the reason why I got this is because I was influenced by Kathleen Lights. Kathleen has said that the Pat McGrath lip liners are her absolute favorite lip liners. And so I said, you know what, I'm not going to be like her and just buy a whole set. I'm just going to buy one. So I picked up the shade Manhattan because I love these kind of brownie um, or reddish brown nude um, liners. And when I tell you this thing glides on so easily. Like, I could put this on my lip and wear that completely as a, a lipstick. Um, I love, love the shade. It's very close to K by Colourpop, which is my all-time favorite. It also comes as a sharpener. I can't remember if this was like 19 or $20. We'll put it on the screen or in the information box below. But it is a fantastic formula. It wears perfectly, as she said. It glides on. It does not dry on the lips, which is one of the problems that I have with um, wooden lip liners it lasts all day um you could just wear it on its own with a gloss on top or you line your lips you fill it in with a lipstick and just like you all know that i love the pat mcgrath lipsticks i love that liner i will definitely keep looking out for other shades that i may like but i will only pick it up during a sale because if my favorite liner of life from ColourPop is like five dollars you know it's difficult for me to spend 20 you know on another one so and on Pat McGrath, this one was not initially um, something that I was like going to get. I had it on my loves list. My loves list was getting edited and I, it was there. But until I saw um, Vida Ram Charita, she's makeup by Melanie, I believe on Instagram, um, talk about it and posted it um, that she got it. I was like, no boy, I need that in my life. So this is the Pat McGrath highlighter trio. And I find this to be one of the more... Um, better priced items from Pat McGrath. Um, you get three of her highlighters in this kit for 50 US dollars and minus the 10%, um, the 20%, sorry, from the sale. This works out beautifully. You now, these shades, if you just look at them like in real, you can see that they, at least two of them, have a kind of duo chrome um, finish. But this, I definitely need to swatch for you all. This is that first shade that looks white, it has a pink shift oh my lord the one i just added there is the middle shade that has this golden hmm. how to describe it boy it is a gold i don't know if it has like a slight green um effect um but yeah so so pretty and the last one is a more bronzy gold like look at that like these things are so pigmented you could use them as shadows but those are the highlighters like if you want to glow from space yeah boy this is definitely not for the faint-hearted this is not for the person that's look is, you know looking for their beautiful bridal glow from within highlighter no my my favorite one of my favorites the bobby brown highlighter kit yeah you're gonna get that effect with that one but this is like glow from mars glow from jupiter kind of something <laughs> really really pretty i'm glad i picked that up i've been using it a lot especially for all the glam occasions over the holidays pat mcgrath's highlighter was on my face that's just some of the stuff that i picked up so far um the next video is we're going to continue with the rest of things that i picked up in my sephora vip hall stay tuned